Previously on Dust World. Guards, restrain She Hulk, please! Okay, I'll grapple. Roll a d20. Oh! She's totally grappled, bro. I'm sitting there as I watch this happen, <clears throat> breathing sighs of relief. I'm not really that interested in going after a swarm, the lady. This is mentally declared. Clarence, you got this right. Great. I'll talk to you in a few. I gotta go kill the bug lady. Oh. And oh, okay. I jumped out the hole in the wall. Razlo comes are... falling out of the hole. Doing okay? He's definitely not doing okay. Razlo is like bleeding out of his nose and ears now. How much do I care? Roll D20. D20 for Karen. Be careful because if she catches you, you could end up like me. Now we follow our heroes. Gage Thane, a dust-casting, sword-wielding monk from the mountains of Black Earth. Clarence Wales, the telepathic child runaway whose mind is strong enough to bring grown men to their knees. Kevin Wolfkin, the sharp-shooting, foul-mouthed, fox-faced hunter from a hidden village of werewolves. Let's see what becomes of them in Dust World. How does she do with triple bullets that do 150 damage or how much? <laughs> Are you talking about his guns? Yes. He has three different guns. They, they don't do that much damage. It just happens that when he uses them, they do more damage. He's got buffs and perks on him. Yeah. Well, the guns themselves are pretty average. I'm not going to allow you to die before you help us. <laughs> what is that? Shoot her. Obviously, I've tried that. Look where I ended up. My plan did not work out. Look, man, you obviously seem to be a pretty decent guy. I mean, you knocked out the most annoying person I've ever met. We're just saying <laughs> shoot the bush. <laughs> shoot the bush? Yes, that's where I saw a bunch of bugs fly. All right, how about this for an idea? Go back into the bar and get some fire, since Gage here refuses. Uh, do you not notice I'm kind of dying here, guys? I'm pretty sure I'm not going to last I can longer. Oh, for goodness sakes, I just turn around and walk back into the bar to go get fire. <laughs> okay. So that's, that, that's what my character's move end is, is to walk back in the bar to go get fire. <laughs> Clarence, have fun with the dying man. <laughs> well, when you come back into the bar, you notice that the barmaids have kind of gone back about their business as usual. <laughs> like, some of them are oh, dancing. Gosh. Well, if I'd known that, I could have just had Stuart get it, whatever. Some of them... <laughs> Stuart's still in the bar. He's the only one left, and he's still grappling <laughs> the one barmaid. And she's kind of, like, struggling, but she's not broken free yet. Ooh, this is a little tricky Just for suplex me. her. I'm going to roll for suplex next turn. Kevin? Kevin? You there, buddy? Yeah, Kevin is like not doing well. Incognito. He's on the floor. He's a little comatose. Clarence, Kevin is still unconscious, so there is something good coming from this thus far. Oh, oh, so does he just There's keep murdering by him? And she's like, are you okay, over honey? and over again? <laughs> she's kind of like poking him. And she's like <laughs> like a robot on repeat. Are you okay, honey? Pook pook. Are you okay, honey? Pook pook. Are Please you get okay, the fire. honey? <laughs> <laughs> Every couple of minutes, she like comes back and she pokes him. Are you okay, honey? I hope he wakes up with a bruise in one spot. <laughs> like a finger sized bruise on his face. <laughs> Just like right in his eye. <laughs> what is my eye hurt, guys? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. It's happened. like the first rubbed raw <laughs> from the one spot where she poked <laughs> <laughs> a little, little tattoo. Um, okay, so what are you guys doing? Well, can I go and get fire? Where are you getting fire from? There's still fire on the stair a little bit. It's gone. Dang it. Why? Is there any embers or anything? Because they were putting it out. Any embers? Hot coals? <laughs> no. I, I yelled, I yelled so to the bar. Has anyone got a light? <laughs> 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 we're so dead. Uh, let's see. Get the incendiary bullets! Quick, I, go! I get them! I don't think I know that he has incendiary bullets on him. Yeah, I don't think he told you guys. No, um, he didn't because he's okay, a lovely then, okay. teammate. Um, Did I see anything in the storage closet that was like flammable or could it, like a lantern or something? Didn't you get a cool weapon? Yeah, the old guy was smoking. 
All right, I'm gonna go mug the old guy at this point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to the old guy. Ooh. Roll spot. Oh, okay. And if that was your spot, then... <laughs> All right. Yes. Glad my spot was better. You walk by and you see some bot like hefty looking square bottles of like whiskey, and you're like, hmm. And then in your mind, you just imagine like bottles of whiskey like smashing on the ground, <laughs> flames <laughs> bursting into the air, and you're like, mm hmm. And I'm projecting this to Clarence and having like a giddy feeling. <laughs> I think you have a problem. <laughs> Shut up, Clarence. You don't know what makes me happy. <laughs> So I'm going to take tequila bottles and whatever else I see. Okay, so you can easily carry like three bottles. Okay, so I've made, I would, do I assume I've made the Molotov cocktails or some rags or something from the bar? Or... Roll spot. <laughs> All right! Yeah. You, Perfect 20! <laughs> you make them, so they do 2d6 and they cover a range of 10 feet and you were able to make uh, three, five. Oh, five. She's seriously yeah, just hanging out this bush and doing nothing? I mean, I'm okay with that. She's probably regenerating, honestly, because I mean, she did get kind of like messed up. Do I up. just start side blast? No, she'll go after okay, me. Don't do the side blast. I think I've done enough for today. Yes, you have. All right, so at I this can't point, that I'm assuming I shot can, her. Am I able strange. to walk out at this point, or is yeah, that, you guys okay. aren't in turn right now. Okay, nobody's attacking you, okay. so you're All outside. Right, I came outside. Hey, Clarence, I brought presents. I mean, I'm walking out with an arm full of like. Malta cocktails. I'm imagining like, that they're in like big pockets inside of your jacket. Oh, okay. Because you have swords, right? You want your swords out too? Yeah. Yeah. I bought presents, and let's just say I have like one last bottle, like I'm holding, like that I drink part of with my perfect 20. <laughs> Guess yeah. what we need? You drinking. Did you liquor. want to pick up your real swords on your way? I think that's like a low priority, but I guess I could pick them up on my way out. Because. <laughs> I, let's Sword say I nice. picked them up and put them in my sheath real quick before getting the Molotovs. Okay. Like, on my way, like, stupid, stupid fire, I'll get you fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I come up with Molotov cocktails. Sure. I'm going to stand back here with the dying man. Clarence, is, has anything moved from the bush thus far? I don't know. No, I, I don't think so. I think it's... It's... It's, uh, it's vaguely moving. This is problematic. Okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make this simpler. Please and do. I'm going to pull out one of the Molotovs. And do I have anything to light it with? Because that was the thing I was Can I bring about. Stuart out here? Yeah. Yes and yes. I have something to light it with? Mm-hmm. Stuart is important. Just what do I... Can I use just like my swords and strike it against a rock or something? Or? We have a lighter. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know I would have a lighter on me. Because I know we were in Wild West and lighters weren't. They had lighters in the Wild West. Did they really? Yeah. I did not know that. Okay. Well, I've lit, I've lit a Molotov cocktail. Man, mm -hmm. I'm just going to chunk it's it into the future Wild West, too. So <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Probably have laser lighters. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. This should be fun. <laughs> what if it blows up at whatever? Yeah, That's so what you need to do. Roll, roll damage? All ideas belong it's to two, you. It's two d six, right? Yep. Oh well, there's a six. And That's a good start. There's another six, so twelve. The whole bush lights up. <coughs> <coughs> it's burning. You now have a burning bush. Oh, <laughs> well, is that you? <laughs> How poetic. So, do I see anything moving in the bush, or like any kind of reaction? Roll d twenty. Uh, spot. Wow, thank you. Oh, roll perceptive. spot. I'm Ten. the spot man. Apparently, I Spots. can only roll stuff when I uh, spot. need to drink. Don't need it. <laughs> when I need 14? to drink or block buffs. Yes, you notice the bush is burning. You don't hear anything other than like the fire. There's some crackling. Every once in a while, you hear like a popping sound. You guess that's probably an insect exploding, but. No. That was uneventful this seems, and disappointing. Yeah. This seems wrong to me. Well, be my guest. Go check the bush. <laughs> <clears throat> Razlo, where'd she go? Did you look under the bush? Why uh, would I go into the bush with the scary bug lady? Why do bugs like to hide? <sighs> Son of a... <clears throat> There's probably a hole or a rock under there, isn't there? Probably. 
Fighting this job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stewart. Can Stewart take fire damage? Um, not really. He's metal. Yeah. So you just Let's get see. cherry hot, cherry red hot, wouldn't you? That's all you would do. Yeah, it's not very hot. Stewart would like to help. Okay. So roll a d20. Okay. Uh, and then add four. Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh my oof. gosh. Um. Mm. Wow. Mm, it's just like in real life. I'm bad at dice rolling. This is why I do tanks. So it matters less. Yeah, he, he tries to grab it, and he's able to grab some stuff out, but for the most part, uh, like he he didn't get that much in the fire. Razzo, go hell. <laughs> Just I will control you, I swear. Alright, is there dust in the surrounding areas around the fire? Yeah, I mean, there's... Is like, plenty of it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna use the dust and just, like... Smother it? Yep. Okay. Uh, um, that's really simple. T- ten is your target. Ten is my target? Okay. Yeah. And do you want me to just roll dust with damage again and add levels? Mm-hmm. Okay, what? I'll ask Russell. Oh my Russell, gosh, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Hello players, it's Paul Purnell, your purveyor of fun and exciting stories. You know, your GM. I could also be your second best friend if you want. Anyway, if you're interested in putting a shout out in the show or being a sponsor, please email us at business at paulparnell.com. We would love to hear your feedback on the show and the characters, and you can find all of our social links in the show notes below to connect with us. We also really appreciate you sharing the show with your friends. Every like and share and follow just really means so much to us. We just want to say thank you. Finally, let us know if you'd be interested in a Dust World beta that you could play with your friends. We really appreciate you playing along with us. Now let's see what happens. Wow. What's your mind bonus? My mind bonus? Yeah. Oh, that's true. It's not. I don't think it's adding that. It's not. Any of my bonuses at this point, honestly. I'm not sure if it should, but... Well, it's available. Four. It's so easy to put fire out. Like, I mean, I'm literally just dropping something on top yeah. of something else. It's not like I'm moving a mountain. Okay, you managed to get the fire out. And the bush is completely burned up. There's a cave. You guys see a cave! A cave. <laughs> We're so going to need Kevin. Do we want to go into the cave? Stuart, go fetch Kevin. <laughs> Stuart fetches Kevin. Why are you getting Kevin? It would be nice if he could wake up and help us. We're going into a cave. <laughs> Foxes like holes in the ground, therefore I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll say it. Kevin's now inside of Stuart. Inside of Stuart. Yeah, so you just have Stuart go oh, God. and like separating a bunch of pieces, and then the feet and, like Iron Man's on him. And I'm just sitting there watching this like, and you didn't do this earlier when I was fighting the bug lady or the barmaids or you in doing, general. Do you really want to be in a claustrophobic piece of armor? It's yes, armor that he controls like a puppet. <laughs> I need Stuart for things. Whatever. We'll, we'll talk about why you didn't give me armor later. It's gonna be You're doing when, fine. When Stuart acts like a shield <laughs> with Wolfkin inside. <laughs> you are doing. Wolfkin's gonna wake up, like bruises and like arms missing. <laughs> if anybody needs the armor, it's the person currently wearing it. But he's not complaining, therefore you should not either. <laughs> Send Kevin in first. <laughs> Stuart. Kevin just happens to be inside. <laughs> <laughs> then send Stevan to investigate the cave. Stevan. <laughs> I don't like this. Well, you don't like that pairing, Stevan? That's so no. funny. <laughs> I, I don't like portmanteaus. Isn't that what it is? And he wouldn't know that word. <laughs> if I don't know that word very well. Okay, are you guys leaving uh, Razzlo behind? Are you going to talk to him anymore? I'm going to come over and talk to him real quick. Okay, what are you going to ask for me? Saying. So All right, well, obviously we're about to go into that. Good call. What, like, are you going to be okay? Is there anything we can do to help you at this point? You kind of... You're going to die, like aren't crap. you? <laughs> Probably. I 
feel the world closing in, and whatever Zazzle did to my head, I don't think it's something easily undone. You're not going to turn on us, are you? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to live or die. I don't know if I'm going to come after you. Well, take care. (laughs) Well, I can offer you a quick and painless death if you need it. So generous. (laughs) That's me. (laughs) (laughs) We're the best heroes ever. (laughs) I'm leaving. He's offering him the (laughs) Kavor. (laughs) <laughs> Razzle's guns come up <laughs> she's like I'll go when it's my time not a second sooner <gasps> All right, no, your time no. is quickly approaching just S- noting figured you didn't want to bleed out on the sand but if you're still alive I'll get you a drink later <laughs> alright so I guess we're all going to the cave now since Razzle doesn't want to quicken merciless I hate caves <laughs> do you guys want to ask him anything like I'm just what like, is that what? what is that thing? What is this Zazzle insect lady? I guess I'm more horrifying attract- monster. At this point with killing Zazzle. Yeah, I mean, I don't but. super care either. I mean, he's been kind of useless. <laughs> this is how Clarence th- thinks: is that are you useful in protecting me? No, then I don't care about you. I'm still in semi battle mode, which is the reason my guy isn't as inquisitive. But I guess, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. That thing's been in your head, right? Yeah. Okay. Why? Where did where did it come from? What's the story with the barmaids? Why are you bleeding out internally because you got it out? It's some sort of parasitic insect. I I think at at first it was just an insect, but something happened, the it mutated because of the environment or something. And became this chimera ant creature, yeah. Um, <laughs> and now it's sentient, and it's figured out how to burrow into people's brains and control them from the inside. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, when you get it out, unless you're an incredibly skilled healer, there's not really much you can do about it. I do have some Star Trek too. Oh, God. Um, uh, and I was tracking her because her, him, it was part of the the nine lieutenants of Red Earth. She was a lieutenant of Red Earth? Yeah. Uh, I was tracking Red. all nine. Well, all eight. Do you have this list on you, perchance? He, like, pulls out, uh, like, a roll of papers, and he hands it to you. That's neat. This might actually come in handy. Are you going to open it up and look at it? Yeah, I might as well, since I got it. Okay, so they're wanted posters. That would be lovely. Because he is a bounty hunter. I was hunting them down, and I was really close. And I didn't understand Zazzle's powers. And she caught me. I wasn't able to fight her. Uh, you flip through and you see, uh, like, Alistair, Juno, and Matsu. Oh. Um, Juno, it calls Juno the Sideblade. Alistair, uh, the Crimson Dustcaster. Matsu, the Beastmaster. And then you see new pictures of people you haven't seen yet. Um, Razzlo's on there, uh, but it's, a, it's like a cloak mm-hmm. with, like, blacked out. And it calls it Razzlo the Beast. Um, and then uh, you see a man named Ferris, who looks pretty unassuming, but he has a very high bounty. And you see a picture of a woman, and it says Sierra, the swordsman. You also see a picture of a buff-looking black guy with some, like, techno gizmos. And most of these are, like, hand-drawn, so they're not very accurate-looking. Uh, and it calls him Barrett. Mm. And another one of a man called Tetsuya. What are you... Okay, so... Sierra. 
I'm gonna hold up that one and say, "What's your leads on this one?" Uh, well, all I know is Raslo was supposed to help Barrett uh, find some technology, a, a new piece that they're looking for in, in the North Wastelands, supposedly in a ruin there. That's that's all I've got for you. No, but where is Sierra? She could be anywhere. I know that they're they're operating all over this area right now. They're collecting something. I can't really remember. It has something to do with Psy. Um, some kind of technology. But I, I don't... Psy? Well, what was it? What was Kevin talking about? Psy? Cypress? Cypress Hill? Well, D20? My actual uh, bad stop. memory is now a thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh! oh. Okay, for, it I'm was a, so close! I'm roll mine, see if I can remember it, because he's mentioned it. So, it's Cyburst. Cyburst. That's right. what they stole from the train, was some piece of t- Cyburst technology. So Did so, they also was it, steal was it a technology some... called Cyburst? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Didn't they steal some anthrax too? Cyburst. Or? Okay, Cyburst. No, he found out that they had lied. Oh, okay. It wasn't, it wasn't White Horse. They were using that because they were hoping that nobody would want to be anywhere near White Horse. Oh, okay. So it was yeah. like a smoke screen. Okay, yeah. I must have missed that. I was too busy focusing on how... So wait a minute. Doing. So they were looking for Cybers. What does Sierra have to do with it? I, I don't know. She joined them a few months ago and started helping do their dirty work. She's obviously strong. She ended up in as a lieutenant faster than anyone. Mm-hmm. Said Northern Ruins? Yeah. Right. Any other information you can pertain towards this uh, lovely creature we're about to go face? He coughs and hacks up a bunch of blood. He's like, <clears throat> just keep your ears open and watch out. Wait, where do the bugs go- enter? Do they enter through the nose, the mouth, or the ears, or where? Under the skin. Under the skin. Okay, so we're pretty much... They just burrow. Mm-hmm. Lovely. That's absolutely disgusting. Um... Alright, I'm gonna pull out... You remember that bottle of, uh... Whis- or tequila that... I'm gonna pull it out and just set it next to him and be like... Maybe it'll help a little bit. Thanks. Good luck. Sorry, I can't offer you more. I hope you survive this and get vengeance for me. Oh, don't worry. If we we survive this, uh, we'll be considered lucky at this point. (laughs) Okay, I'll ask you. And if we don't, we'll talk real soon. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, he, he leans back, pops the cork on the tequila, I figured this way you need it. See, Clarence? Never judge with a bottle of alcohol will do for friendship. <laughs> or easy dying. What I'm ten. Do? Well, you're not gonna have a lot of friends and dying's gonna suck for you. I have Stuart, that's all I need. <laughs> okay. Looks like uh, Stevan is ready to go, so why don't we go in? Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Infinite Pixel is a proud member of Nerdsmith.org, a collaborative network for delivering nerdy entertainment, fan-supported, and shared with all. If you would like to support Dust World or any of our other shows, you can go to Nerdsmith.org and click Donate. Hello, friends! Welcome to the Birchfield Institute Archives. Sit with me among these ancient tomes as we explore, like sands through the hourglass. The days of the What are you doing, Ben? <coughs> oh, hey, Ren. Oh, my gods. What is all this smoke? Ah, it's just incense for the ritual. How else am I going to reach through the plains and tell these fine folk about all the cool adventures that our friends you have... 
cannot hotbox in the special collections wing. You will ruin the books. I can fix anything that gets broken now. That is not I the don't point. Why this is such a Threads deal. in the Veil, an audio drama series on nerdsmith.org or wherever you get your podcasts. You ever tried yoga? Okay.